burgers. What's more iconic than this American treat? We're going to take the mystery out of mystery meat, where most burgers are made out of ground chuck or a combination of different meats. Here I have a sirloin tip roast as it was on sale at my local grocer. You want to place your meat in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes first. This is just going to help firm up the meat and not quite have it frozen all the way through. It just makes it easier to slice. It doesn't matter how thick the slice is here, but you just want to get it broken down a bit. After we break this down into thin slices, we're actually going to place it back in the freezer for another 20 to 30 minutes to firm it up once again before we start chopping it by hand. Here I'm just using smaller chunks to show you that I'm slicing it thin. And then as soon as I do this, I am going to stack these thin slices on top of each other and then again break it down even further until we get to a point where I can rock the effing sharp chef's knife back and forth and break this down. And really, how far you break it down is up to you, whether you want a finer grind or something a bit more coarse. That's totally up to you. I would suggest experimenting, um, throwing down a patty, uh, maybe taking notes to see how this burger cooked up versus you know the next burger down the road that you make. Uh, totally up to you. Here I'm using the Evan Sharp Santoku knife and I'm showing you a proper grip here. I'm just gonna lay the tomato on its side and just make some slices. Uh, you do want a perfect ratio on your burger uh, that is bun to meat as well as the different accoutrements that you put on your burger. So I would suggest not slicing too thick um, because it, it does definitely throw off the mouthfeel and your burger experience. I like to use iceberg lettuce. You can change that up from time to time too. As we all know, there are so many variations of burgers out there nowadays. Uh, this iceberg lettuce, I'm just taking the chef's knife here, uh, grabbing just a chunk of it, or what some people might call is you're cutting off a cheek of the iceberg lettuce. Then I'll lay that cut side down. And then using my knuckle as a guide, I'm just going to finally shred it. Just as I did with another option for slicing the tomato, I use the effing sharp serrated bread knife. Uh, even though a bread knife, you can use it for many uses, whether it's slicing meat, slicing veggies. Here, I'm just cutting my bun. And back to the effing sharp chef's knife. I pulled the meat for the second time out of the freezer. It was in there for about 25 minutes. Uh, it's cold, it's firmed up. It's gonna make it easier for the blade to run through it. I'm using two hands here. One hand, as you can see on top with my palm facing down, is just gonna give me a lot of support to kind of uh, rough chop through that meat. I'm using a burger press. You don't have to by any means. You can just use your hands to form your patties. Uh, using a burger press, you just get some more uniform burgers as you'll see as soon as I press down and flip this over. There you go, some nice marks on there. Looks great, we're going into a pan over medium high heat. Make sure to season both sides. The underside is already seasoned. Here I just got some salt and pepper going down on the top. Uh, once it's seared, give it a flip, add your cheese, and then set that aside. And then we're going to build our burgers. But before that, you definitely need to toast your buns. You can do a dry toast. You can use mayonnaise to toast your bread. Um, this is what I used here. You can also just use some good butter. Uh, let that toast up nice. That's going to make sure that, you know, any of the condiments like mayo, mustard, ketchup, whatever you prefer, doesn't make your bun soggy. I'm going down with my shredded lettuce. I have my sliced tomatoes. Here's a mistake that most people make to not season your veggies. Season your veggies, going down with that burger patty, some pickles, capping it off. There you go. A delicious burger, courtesy of F and Sharp, showing you how to make a chopped burger.